Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, we have a really fun episode today. We're gonna be unboxing some stuff here, some CGC slabs that I got in the mail. And uh, before we get dived into that, I do wanna let you guys know about the 500 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It's a Silver Cerberus number one. All you have to do is like, comment, and be subscribed to the channel. And when we hit 500 subscribers, we'll raffle the book off and I'll put a video up to notify the winner. So, uh, yep, yeah. like, comment, and subscribe. Give yourself a chance to win. Now, let's open up these slabs. And I got some, uh, I kind of changed the, the back wall behind me here to maybe give a hint as to what books might be, might be in here. Now, this is kind of a interesting, uh, box that someone sent me this one in. I uh, haven't, haven't actually seen this done before, but I can't say it's a terribly bad idea, to be honest with you. Uh, got the, uh, kind of like a, like a laptop box going on here. So, give me just a moment. I will, we'll get into this one carefully as we can, right? Oh man, this is just all kinds of fun times. Okay, we got the laptop box open enough. I'm just gonna rip it open. I'm not trying to reuse this box. I mean, hey, like I said, I don't think it's a terribly bad idea, but I'm not sure that I would. I feel like it's a little flat, you know? Like you can't get that much bubble wrap in there and oh, I didn't think so there's no bubble wrap let's hope the book's safe I'm gonna assume it probably is because well, they put a little board to protect it <laughs> let's hope there's no mishaps right check her out all right she looks to be in one piece and has survived the trip yep she made it all right guys so I, what did I get in this one? I don't see this, so I don't see this one come up that often. When it does, it's usually a little more pricey, so. Um, yeah, and, and this was kind of like a little bit of a belated, some of these were, both of these actually were supposed to have arrived for my birthday or like hoping they would arrive on my birthday, but they didn't, so. It's kind of like uh, some stuff that arrived a little late, but it made it here. <laughs> So I got this one. It's a Hulk 2099 number one in a 9 8 white pages. Uh, another another part of, of uh, trying to collect. I think I'll, I only need two more actually now, guys, to have all of the uh, the original borders that came out in the 90s. I'm just missing Ghost Rider 2099 and Punisher 2099. So that'd be the black one and the purple one. And we will... We will put Hulk 2099 up there to hang out with his friends. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and open the other one. Alright guys, what do you think? What do you think this one's gonna be? What books what books do we have do we have up here? Pop a comment below. Maybe pause the video and pop a comment and see if you could guess what it is. While I while I try to open this up without cutting myself. And again, I mean, kind of an interesting, more bigger box this guy used. Not a bad, definitely not a bad way to go. It's for sure safe. And it's kind of a bigger book, so I don't, I don't fault him for, for going a little extra protection and making sure that it, uh, that it got here safely. Okie dokie. We got it. We got the first part open, and and check this out, guys. This is this is super safe, super safe way to pack to pack a book. It's just all bubble wrap inside here. There she is. So what? It, let's see if I can hide it so you can't see it. All right. All right. Here here we go. Final reveal. 
We got the X-Men Annual number 14 in a 9-4 white pages. It is a square bound book. And uh, yeah, just super awesome. I'm just checking it out. I've, I've never actually seen one in person, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But it's, uh, so it's the uh, X-Men Annual number 14. The first appearance or first cameo appearance of Gambit and some are arguing now and I, I've, I've seen the inside panels and I mean, yikes, kind of hard that, to call this a cameo. I, I, I get, I get it. This is the way better cover and the one that actually has the character on the cover. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty, it's also pretty hard to to argue if you've seen the panels inside this book that that this is a cameo because it's most definitely not a cameo he's in multiple panels speaks yeah just kind of all those things happen you know what i'm saying um super super cool co I, I i mean and that's another thing too like a lot of people don't like this cover and i know it, it's not you know it'd be nice if gambit was on the cover but honestly it's actually like to me it's actually a super dope cover um just it's just awesome you got all the you know these three characters and powers coming out of them uh i just it's just cool it's a arthur adams cover so yeah props to arthur adams i actually like the cover uh chris claremont story and uh yep, it says a uh, fantastic four and ahab appearance uh, Gambit cameo predates Uncanny X Men two sixty six, uh, pinups by Kevin Nolan and Michael Golden, and yeah, if you notice too, so it's in a nine four, it kind of actually matches my set here, so we'll pull down one of the Spider Man twenty ninety nine number ones, and we'll move, we'll move two sixty seven, the third appearance of Gambit. And 266, the first appearance? Or, or I mean, so this would be the second appearance if you're calling this the first. This is the second. And it does say on the CGC label for 267, early Gambit appearance. Doesn't, doesn't list a number, right? Because I, I feel like they were a little confused too. <laughs> so here we go. This is my completed set now in a 9-4 of the first cameo or first appearance it you know arguable what it is and then uh 266 the first full appearance or is it the second appearance of gambit <laughs> first cover definitely first cover and then we have right here uh, definitely second cover and is it second full appearance or is it third appearance I don't know I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to uh, argue in the comments uh, as to what you think I'm just happy I completed the set of you know like I said I, I don't even know what to call it I'm gonna call it by what I guess to, for today and this is not my actual this is not my opinion on it guys this is just what the CGC label says. So we got here we've got the first cameo appearance of Gambit, the first full appearance of Gambit, and an early Gambit appearance. And uh, I added the green Hulk 2099 to, uh, to the book. So now I've got Ravage in a 9-4, uh, Doom 2099 one in a 9-6, the Hulk 2099 one and a 9-8, uh, 9-8 of the Spider-Man 2099 one, and another 9-4, another and I have a 8-5. I really, this is my favorite character. I have an 8-5 of it too, so um, <laughs> that's what... That's what I got. That's what I got today. Those are the CGC slabs that arrived in the mail over the week, and I thought I would share share with you guys some of the uh, some of the birthday presents that uh, that came a little bit late, uh, but yeah, I, I'm still super happy to add them to my collection. 
like I said, uh, so I've, I've, got, I've completed this little collection here, uh, at least in 9.4. Maybe I can upgrade, hopefully upgrade to, uh, to higher grades at some point. But I, at least I own the books now. And, um, yep, we're just, there's just two more on the list of, uh, of first, uh, 2099 foil borders for, to complete that collection. I just need the Punisher and Ghost Rider 2099 for both of them. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's what I have today. I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, the video and the little glimpse into, into my life and the kind of kind of things that I that I collect and, and have gotten for my birthday um, in this kind of little two-part series I guess uh, whatever you want to call it um, yep so we'll see you guys tomorrow have a great day remember if you want to help support the channel the best way right now is is to help me sell out of the mystery box uh, we're gonna end the sales at the end of this month so they're gonna ship really soon and uh, get your chance to to win the slabs and cool prizes all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow and have a great day. Hey, guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, I'm I'm really happy and excited to share this with the with the community. So what we have here, what are we looking at? It's my first ever mystery box. It's DC and Marvel only, number ones only. So it's all going to be all number one issues, all DC, all Marvel. They're going to be a guaranteed value of $60 on every single mystery box. There are only 30 boxes total. And uh, all I'm asking, guys, is $50 shipped. So $50 shipped. And I'll I'll send I'll guarantee you'll get sixty dollars in value, in uh in number one Marvel and DC only, and uh, yep, there's also going to be five grand prize winners, and the five grand prize winners or mini prize winners are going to get a hundred dollars in value uh, mystery prize box. So they're they're going to be uh, five boxes valued at a hundred dollars, and then there's going to be a grand prize winner, guys, and the grand prize winner is going to win this Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 1 slab in a 9.8 of the Del Auto Virgin Edition um, Scorpion Comics limited print. And additionally, not only are you going to get the slab, but you're also going to get a $60 mystery box as well. So you'll get to open up a mystery box full of number 1 issues just like everybody else, and you'll get this cool slab. So that's the grand prize winner gets the slab, and a $60 value mystery box. And then there's going to be five mystery boxes, mini prize winners, valued at $100. And then, yep, only 30 boxes total. So I'm really, I'm asking for the community's help and support on this one. If you guys could, could help me out and uh, help, me, help me to sell out of the 30 boxes, that'd be super amazing. And, and yep. These are some of the books that you'll that you'll see in the mystery box in the number one only Jacob Comics first ever exclusive mystery box. All right, guys, um, and the best way to uh, to find out how to how to purchase them <laughs> is to get a hold of me on Instagram at Jacob underscore comic. So it's the same as my YouTube, but without the S on the end. And again, I really appreciate the community's support and uh, helping me spread the word about this mystery box. I thank you very much in advance, and um, I yep. We'll see you guys tomorrow as always, and have a great day. Okay.